welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a simple way to do a jungle backdrop, okay? So as you can see, I have my backdrop stand already set up and ready to go. And the good thing about this backdrop is that you actually don't need this pipe and drape stand because I know this is an investment, right? This is more expensive than your other backdrop stands that you may find on Amazon. All right, so let's get started. All right, so for this backdrop, I'm gonna be using these white sheer curtains, okay? And then I'm gonna be using these gold sequin curtains. So this is definitely more for an adult jungle theme party or like a teenager, but you may not necessarily use this for a kid's party because of the sequins, all right? So what I'm gonna do is start setting up my backdrop and I'll also put the links to these in the description as well. I just want to stop here just to let you know how many curtains that I'm using because I often get questions on how many curtains do I use in my backdrops. So you guys can just count along in my time lapse videos because I really don't edit anything out as far as that's concerned. You can count to see how many curtains that I put on my backdrop stand and that's how many I use. But I will try in the future to make sure that I'm stopping and giving you guys a count of what I'm using when I set up my backdrop curtains. All right, so I use one of the sheer white curtains at the end, and then I use three of these gold sequins curtains, and then I use two sheer white curtains, all right? So it's one, three, two, and then I'm gonna do two more white shears followed by three gold sequined, and then one white shear on the end. Now what I wanna do is cover my end poles, okay? Cause you guys know I don't like to leave my end poles out. So I'm gonna cover this pole here and then that pole over there. I have two white sheer curtains, and then all I do is just take a zip tie, all right, and put it through the top pocket of the curtain. And then all you do is just tie your zip tie. Okay. And then you can put it over your end. All right, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. As you can see, I've raised my backdrop stand, okay? So I raised this to eight feet after I put all of my backdrop curtains on it. So what I'm about to do is tie back the curtains, okay? I'm gonna tie them to the backdrop stand and to do that, I'm just using a 260Q balloon. Now, if you don't have a 260Q balloon, you could definitely use balloon string. You could, I've used fishing line. You could also use, if you have them, long pipe cleaners. So this is just to hold your curtains, all right? We're gonna add another finishing touch later, but it really doesn't matter what you use, just as long as it's attached to the backdrop stand. All right, so I'm just gonna take half of the curtains and tie it to this pole and then take the other half of the curtains and tie it to the other pole, all right? So remember, there's four curtains, four white sheer curtains in the middle. So I'm just going to, so here's one and then here's two. So I know that this is the middle point. and then I'm just gonna take my balloon and tie it. And don't worry about how it looks at first. We're gonna style it up and make sure that it looks good, okay? And 
And when you're tying your curtains, make sure for this design that you are including your end curtain, right? So the curtain that you use to cover the end pole, make sure you tie that in there. Now that the curtains are tied, I'm gonna steam them and then I'm gonna arrange them so that they look good, okay? So the main thing that I do is I start to pull the curtains out from the side. So I just start pulling them and lifting them out from where I tied them. And then I'm also just gonna fix the top of the backdrop, okay? So when you're doing your backdrop curtains, you just wanna make sure that both sides look the same, okay? So however you fix one side, make sure the other side looks exactly like that or close to it. I just finished steaming my curtains so they don't have as much wrinkles in them. I will warn you that sheer curtains wrinkle the most, <laughs> in my opinion. So you will spend more time steaming these, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is add a table right here. Now I'm gonna be using a cocktail table, but you don't have to. You could use any table that you want. And that's the reason why I love this type of backdrop because you could put your dessert table in front of this, you could put your head table in front of this, meaning this is where you sit at your event, or you could put your gift table right here. Last but not least, it's time to add our finishing touches. Now we have to make it into a jungle, right? So this to me has like an African safari, you know, a regal jungle effect. So I have a bunch of jungle leaves that I'm gonna be adding to the scene. I'm gonna put a centerpiece here, and then I'm gonna be adding some jungle leaves to the backdrop, okay? Also, just to let you know, I ended up taking off my balloon, okay? So my 260Q balloon that I tied the curtains with, I ended up taking that off and then just wrapping my curtains in some fishing line, all right? So when I zoom in, you'll see that. Here's the backdrop. It is super simple. I just love this idea. And I wanted to show you guys that you don't always have to do double draping to create something beautiful. All right. So as you can see, I added my giraffe. 
and my lion here just to add my jungle accents. So if you're looking for some jungle leaves that look realistic, I would definitely recommend Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And you wanna catch them at their year end sale. So like at the end of the summer, when things start going on clearance, you can get some really good deals on some jungle leaves, all right? If you guys have any questions on anything that I did, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.